Okay, so in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get Wii up and running with RetroBat. So I'm going to look at controls, and I'm also going to get you upscaling your graphics. And just be prepared that if you've got a lower end spec computer or even a laptop, then some of your upscaling requirements aren't going to happen. But anyway, check this video out. Okay, first things first, if you've not hit notifications and you like this video, subscribe and hit notifications for future retro back content and be sure to check out my playlists. So today I'm going to be looking at Wii and we're going to get you up and running, getting you the best experience. So first things first, what I always suggest doing is going to the back GUI tool, which comes with RetroBat when you install it. If you don't have a shortcut of this, just right click on your RetroBat shortcut, open file location, and here's your directory for RetroBat. We're going to open up Bat GUI, go to system list. And now if you don't have this appear, what well, I can see just here, then reinstall RetroBat and just make sure to install DirectX all in one. I've got a setup guide, a full setup guide, in fact, on how to get RetroBat started, installed. So anyways, we're going to go to system. And if I just scroll to the bottom under Wii, we can see extension types. Now, the game I've converted is in a .rvz format. And as we can see here, we've got RVZ. This also supports WADs, ISOs, WBFS, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do first is go into RetroBat directory again. And we're going to go into the ROMs folder. And right at the bottom of ROMs, you're going to find Wii. Let's just open this up and I'm going to drag Super Mario Galaxy inside. Now, the reason I'm using Super Mario Galaxy is because I've only got a few games for Wii in my physical collection. And this tutorial was going to show you exactly why we need emulation nowadays. Uh, for all games like this, which are notorious for looking bad with bad controls, we can make these games look really awesome. So let's go into RetroBat once we've dragged our games inside of that ROMs Wii folder. And if we just scroll across, we're going to find Wii. And here we go. So what I always do is scrape R. So just go into your main menu for this. And if we just scroll down to Scraper, I'm going to just go to Scrape now. And that should take a couple of seconds. And once this has finished scraping, it's going to prompt us to update game lists, which is on the game settings tab just here. Okay, so as we can see, scrape and finish, update game list. So just update game list, press yes, and here we go. So let's look at the control settings first of all. If I just go into this without messing around with settings, we're not going to get very far. So if I go into the view options menu by pressing select on my controller, advanced system options, and right at the bottom, we got controls. Now, here is where things get a little bit messy for some people. Uh, if we go to Wiimote type, you can actually plug in a real sensor, which you can buy on Amazon, a USB sensor for computers, and you can actually use a real Wiimote and nunchuck for this. But that's entirely up to you. For this, I'm going to show you the best way of using a controller. I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller. So Wiimote type, I'm going to set to emulated. Now, under emulated devices, we got a long list just here, and I find the best one to work specifically for Super Mario Galaxy is Wemo Nunchuck slash Cursor. But for this particular game, it works fine. If not, a little bit sensitive, but you will get used to it. So once you've done those, we're going to back out of here. And let's just open up this game. So I'm using my right analog stick here, and that's going to be acting as the Wemo. And like I say, it is slightly sensitive, but you do get used to this over time.
So for the star cursor to pick up those uh, little star things I forgot they're called, I'm using my right analog stick, which acts as the remote for this, and my left analog stick is controlled Mario. So it's very much running like a normal controller, it's fine. And as you can see, the graphics on default settings look stunning. Okay, so as you can see, that's looking fantastic. So just a second ago, I said if you've not installed Dolphin yet on Retrobat, I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you don't have Dolphin, you've got a couple of options to do this. You can either go to the Retrobat menu and just look up Dolphin. And here we go. Or you can actually start the game itself if you've already got in that ROMs folder and just open it and install it from there. Uh, from here, I'm going to just go to Dolphin GameCube Wii and Wad. I'm going to enter into this. And just simply press yes to install it. So, so you're likely going to get uh, this little window pop up. Do you authorize Dolphin's report information to the vault? to Dolphin's developer, so that's entirely up to you. I'm going to just press yes, and you're likely to go to find an update. So just use your cursor to update after closing Dolphin, or just go ahead and install it now. Uh, this emulator does get regular updates, so make sure it's always updated. That's it, so your update's now done, and we can go back into Wii, and just make sure this one is set to Dolphin. You've also got a Retro Arch Core Dolphin, but I'm going to just use Dolphin for this. And again, just make sure the controls are in the right settings, and let's open up Mario Galaxy again. And here we go, we're back into Wii. Now to exit this, I'm just using Escape key on my keyboard. So as we seen just then, the graphics looks pretty damn good. You can make these look better. If you noticed just a minute ago, there is some jagged edges and we can do things to get rid of these, providing uh, the specs on your computer or laptop are up to the job. So to do this, advanced system options, now, if you want to put your game into decorations, then you can choose a variety of decorations to do so just here. But just be sure that your ratio is on 4 by 3 If you enable one of these, uh, you're going to need to get rid of 16 by 9 otherwise your gameplay isn't going to show. Uh, game aspect ratio then, uh, 16 by 9 seems to be standard. Uh, so leave that on auto and it'll automatically go for 16 by 9. Uh, internal resolution. Now it says we can go up to 5K on this. And in theory you can. But even with some really good hardware, your machine might struggle in some cases. So compared to with how the Wii originally looked, which was some awful like 480p, 480i when it released. Uh, you know, even upgrading this to 1080p is a massive difference. So I'm going to leave this to 1080p. Vertical sync. Now, a second ago in gameplay, you might have noticed there was some screen tear when I was moving around. We can get rid of this by going to vertical sync and selecting yes. Now, under advanced settings video, video mode, that's entirely up to you which option you want to choose. Just make sure this one matches the screen output of what you're using. Uh, widescreen, I'm going to put to yes. And under visual rendering, anastrophic filter really boosts up textures, that type of thing, which makes sure Wii games look extraordinarily amazing, uh, given how they looked originally. But again, this is going to be hard wearing on your hardware, so just be prepared for some lag. Uh, what I generally do when I'm playing some Wii games from my collection is just gradually go up and see what my hardware specs can handle. You know, if you even put this on two times or even four times, it's still a big upgrade. Uh, Anti-aliasing, now again, you can go up to eight times on this and this is what's gonna get rid of our jagged edges, what I was just talking about. Uh, just go for two times, you know, if that's all you can do, then two times is still an upgrade. Anti-aliasing mode, you've got a choice between MSAA and SAA. I'm gonna leave mine on MSAA right now. And under force textures filtering, again, this one might be a little bit hard wearing for your hardware specs, but that's entirely up to you. 
Now, if your game fails to boot from time to time, uh, what you need to do is just go down to drivers and go into video. Uh, by default, this one's going to open up with OpenGL. Uh, some games might require a different driver for this, a different video driver such as Vulkan or DirectX 11 or 12. Generally, I find OpenGL works on a few games that I've got, so that's uh, something to consider. And of course, make sure your controls for uh, games like Mario Galaxy are set to these settings, so Wemo, Nunchuck, Cursor. So let's go back into Mario Galaxy and see how well this looks. And this clearly looks awesome. Uh, everything's very much defined now. The universe up in the sky that is looks really good and it looks stunning. I mean, look at that water there, the, the river. It looks awesome. Okay, and we can also add custom textures to these games, which a really clever community has made for certain games for the Wii. And I'm also going to show you how to do this. So if we just quit out of this, what I'm going to do is just put my game inside of this Wii folder or the Dolphin folder. So I'm going to just locate where my Wii game is, which is obviously in my RetroBat directory. So just look for the ROMs folder and I'm going to go back down to the bottom and just locate where we is. Now I'm going to select this folder and this puts it in here. So first of all, we need to right click on the game and if we select properties and go to info, what you're looking for is the game ID. So take a note of that or just leave this open. So not all Wii games have these patches or custom HD patches. So just make a note of the game ID. And I'm going to leave the link in the description for this HD custom pack for this one. So just download the custom HD pack if you fancy playing this game and uh, you want to add the custom textures to it. And I'm going to download this. And that should download into a zipped file. So once that's been downloaded, let's just open this up and we're going to find it here, a folder inside of the WinRAR file and we got RMG uh, folder. Now, if we take a look at the game ID, this it also says RMG, so you need to match these up. So once you've identified that those are the same, just drag this out onto your desktop and it's going to take a little bit of time. There's a lot inside. And we can close this down and close this down and also the website. So we need to go into the Dolphin emulator folder for this. So right click on your shortcut for uh, RetroBat open file location. And then I'm going to go to emulators and find Dolphin emu. We're next going to go to user and then from user, just go into the loads folder and then finally into the textures folder. And that textures pack you just downloaded, just simply drag and drop this one inside of here. So once that's in place, what we're going to do next is go back into RetroBat. And if we go back into the Wii game folder, we go to view options again, advanced system options, visual rendering, which is near the bottom, and custom textures, you want to put this one to yes, and that's now enabled. So if we back out of this, and again, let's open up Super Mario Galaxy again, and your custom HT pack should now be enabled. <laughs> so we're now 
with custom HD initials, and we got the issues upscaled as well. I'm not sure if this is going to reflect on your end watching this video, but from my end, this looks truly amazing for an Wii game originally intended for 480p, 480i output. So it looks almost comparable with the new game uh, from this end playing this. So that's it for my Wii RetroBat setup, guys. So I tried to cover everything in this video, including controls, which is going to get you uh, running your Wii games on a conventional controller. Uh, I've got you set up with HD texture packs. And just remember, HD texture packs are only limited to a few Wii games at the moment, uh, including this one. I believe there's one on Mario Kart as well for the Wii. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to check out my Retro Bat playlist and also cover Bat Sarah, Retro Arch and Launchbox. And just take a look at my membership option. If there's any videos you want covering, I've got an option in memberships to uh, do that for you. So whatever the question is, I can likely cover it. But anyways, until next time, stay retro.